Okay, so most people are going to be a little confused with this math problem. Actually, this is a pretty easy problem, but uh, what's confusing here is that we're dealing with a symbol that maybe we've never seen before. It's this symbol right here, and we're like, i never seen this in math. Well, yes, indeed, I understand that, but let's go and read the problem because everything you need to solve the problem is right here. So the problem is the following. If a at b is equal to a minus 2 times b plus 1, what is 1 third at 3 equal to? All right, so hopefully you can figure this out. And if you have the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the right answer in just one second. And then, of course, I'm going to explain fully what's going on here. And uh, this particular problem, some of you might be saying, well, this is just some sort of uh, math puzzle or riddle. Well, actually, there's a bigger point to this problem, something very, very important that we want to discuss to fully understand and appreciate mathematics. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what the answer is to this crazy looking problem. And obviously this is not a symbol that we're used to in mathematics, but what is the answer to this problem? Well, here it is, negative 20 over three. All right, so if you got this right, that is great. Matter of fact, I have to give you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you could brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of deciphering new mathematical operations, right? And that's what we're really talking about here. This is some sort of new crazy mathematical operator. In math, things like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, these are called mathematical operations. And when we see these symbols, we basically know what to do with two numbers. Well, here we're dealing with a new mathematical operation. And of course, I'm gonna get into exactly how we want to kind of approach a problem like this. But uh, some of you might be saying, well, you know, I don't really you know, see the value in this problem. Well, you know, hopefully you'll see the value in just one second as I explain the solution. So let's go and get started here. So here is the problem. And of course, I have this symbol right here, this at symbol. I'm like, I'm not used to seeing this in math. What does this mean? Well, here is the rule, okay? If you have A at B, what we need to do is do this. This is what we're defining uh, this particular mathematical operation as. Okay, so if I have two numbers, A and B, if I go, hey, do the operation A at B, well, that means do this. So in mathematics, we have all different sorts of mathematical operations. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at a few here. So we have addition, of course, subtraction, multiplication, division, but we have other things as well. What about this thing right here? Okay, what does this mean? Well, this is the absolute value of negative three. So this symbol means do something. And uh, this particular case, what does it mean? Well, it means find the distance negative three is from zero. So uh, that distance is three. Okay, this is the absolute value of negative three. But we can have all kinds of other symbols as well. So this five exclamation mark doesn't mean say uh, the number five really loud. <laughs> I mean, that is my attempt at a mathematical joke. It's not saying, hey, say scream five really loud. No, this means something. Matter of fact, what does that mean? Do you know what it means? Well, if you know what it means, go ahead and uh, put that into the comment section. But this right here, this symbol, and some of you may, have, may not have ever seen the symbol before, but this is what we call factorial. And just out of curiosity, five factorial, means take five and just start multiplying by the product. Basically, you know, I'm kind of uh, going to confuse this or make it more confusing than it needs to be. So we're gonna take the number five and we're just gonna start going down by one, okay? So it's gonna be five times four times three times two times one. And all these numbers we're kind of counting down uh, by integers going backwards. We're gonna start with five and this entire product is what we call five factorial. Okay, so when you see this operation in mathematics, it means do this. And that is the uh, entire idea right here, 
when we see this symbol, okay, if we have two numbers, we see the symbol, it means do this thing right here. So we're just defining a new mathematical operation, and this definitely comes in play not only when you um, study more advanced math, okay, you're going to lose, uh, not lose, but <laughs> uh, learn a lot of new mathematical operations. So you just kind of have to interpret, um, you know, what the operation means, and this is kind of a good, just little practice, uh, you know, problem to say, okay, we can come up with any new mathematical operator we want. You can come up with your own. You can be like, well, I'm going to go with A, maybe star B is, uh, you know, whatever you want, okay? You just tell, you know, tell people what the rule is, right? Okay, and you can make up whatever rule, but once you have the rule and you give someone two numbers in an operation, all you have to do is effectively follow that rule. So, this type of problem, by the way, does show up on different types of standardized tests. So if some of you are uh, going off to college or have to take something like the SAT, ACT, or some sort of college entrance exam, or maybe some sort of um, uh, assessment exam, these are kind of classic problems. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure this thing out. So here we have one-third at three. Well, we need to figure out what this means. So I'm like, oh, I have this uh, mathematical operator. What does this mean? Well, I have to go to the rule. A at B means we're going to take this first number, A, okay, and we're going to go A minus 2, and then we'll take this second number, B, and we're going to um, add 1 to it. All right, let me go ahead and just fix this up. We're going to add 1 to that second number, B. So effectively, all we have to do is kind of substitute in these numbers and just um, whatever we get over here after plugging in the values is uh, what we need to simplify to figure out. Uh, what this um, mathematical operation yields us in terms of a result. Okay, so if you want to go ahead and see if you can set this up, that'd be great. But let's go ahead and take a look at it right now. So this is what you want to uh, uh, hopefully came up with. We have A at B, again, is equal to A minus 2 times B plus 1. So I have 1 third at 3. Well, this here is in the A spot, okay? and three is in the B spot, so I'm just gonna simply plug in these respective values. So if A is one third, this is A minus two, so this is gonna be one third minus two times B plus one, and uh, three is in the B spot, so this is gonna be three plus one. So at this point, all I have to do is figure this out, and I will have uh, figured out what the problem is, one third at three is equal to. All right, so now we're just talking about basic arithmetic, and let's go ahead and take the next step, which of course is having you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, I wouldn't ask if it didn't make that much of a difference. It uh, really is a you know a tremendously important for me. The reason why I do these videos is I mean, one, I love to teach math, and YouTube is a great platform uh, to teach. But uh, namely, I'm trying to connect with people that I can help, okay, or people that are just interested in mathematics. So if that's you, thank you so much for um, watching. Hopefully you subscribe because that is a great way to show your, uh, show your support to my channel. But really what I'm trying to do is find people that are struggling in math. I'm trying to prevent these type of people. I hate math because I'm so frustrated with it. Well, I'm trying to find those folks because uh, these people are right on the edge of giving up on math. And that is a real, um, you know, tragedy. And some of you might say, well, you're being overly dramatic, Mr. YouTube Math Man. You know, a lot of people don't like math. You don't need math. Well, yes, indeed. You don't have to know math to be successful in life. Okay, you need to know, you need to know some level of math. That's my opinion. But um, you should at least you know, uh, go as far as your potential, okay? And typically, a lot of people struggle in math because they're not getting adequate instruction. But there are no shortcuts, okay? So if you're struggling in math, just say, there's no shortcuts. What you need is someone who can teach you uh, in a way that you like and understand. But anyways, by you subscribing, it really does help me help others, okay? That's really important to me. That's why I'm kind of spending this time, you know, um, you know, uh, blabbing here, you know, about this point. And somebody say, come on, hurry up, get back to the prom. I hear you. Let's get back to the problem. All right, so here it is. So we have one-third at three. We know that this symbol right here, we know the definition or this mathematical definition at means. It means do this. So we have one-third minus two times three plus one. And so now this, should, this just becomes a basic arithmetic problem. 
All right, so three plus one, obviously this is gonna be four, so this is gonna be super easy because we get to deal with some fractions and I know all of you are fraction experts. Now, by the way, if there's anything here in terms of fractions and stuff that are bothering you, a couple of quick suggestions. If you need help with basic math, uh, check out my Math Foundations course. You'll find a link to it in the description below. It's like a little mini math boot camp. Also, if some of you want to get back into math and you uh, want to start from basic math and go all the way up to like basic trigonometry and things, check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. That's a new course of mine uh, that might interest you. Links to all those courses will be in the description. All right, so one third minus two, what do we have to do? Well, we have to find the common denominator. So one third minus two, uh, we have three here, one here. So we, we let's fix this up, uh, this denominator. So it's three, so I'll multiply the denominator and the numerator by three. So I have three over six. Of course, uh, six divided by three is two. So one third minus six over three, uh, I have the denominators are the same. So now I simply just have to subtract the numerators. One minus six is negative five. You gotta be careful with that negative value, right? So well, it's gonna be one minus six or one plus negative six. So that's negative five or negative five over three. All right, now if you didn't get this right, this fraction part right, well, you definitely need some review with fractions. And again, check out the, check out my Math Foundations course, but also I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel as well. All right, so we're almost there. So what we did is figured out one third minus two, that's equal to negative five thirds times three plus one, which of course is four. But let's express that four as a fraction. We'll um, have that as four over one because when we multiply fractions, what we need to do is multiply the respective numerators and denominators. I'm gonna show you that here. So we're just gonna multiply across. So negative five times four is negative 20 over three times one, which of course is three. So our answer is negative 20 over three. All right, so some of you might be thinking, well, this was just like, you know, I'm not sure this was worth my time to watch this video. Well, you know, if you feel that way, I apologize, but I am trying to introduce uh, you to concepts of, you know, studying math. You're going to run into symbols and all different sorts of things that uh, you basically have to interpret uh, just as we did here. Okay, in other words, um, you're going to run into operations and you're going to say, OK, when you see this, you know, do this. And you got to be able to read mathematics. You got to be able to read the rules. And this is just a kind of a simple practice problems. But as you um, progress in mathematics, for those of you that want to really get into some advanced math, you know, you do deal with all different sorts of number systems and new mathematical operations. So anyways, hopefully this little problem is just a sample of what it's like to deal with a math problem that you might see on some sort of test or some sort of course that you might take in the future. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.